Hey guys, just wanted to talk quickly about competitor backlinks. So, um, first of all, like competitors link building is basically where you're you're finding key competitors in your own niche or industry and trying to replicate the links they build or reverse engineer uh, the links that they build. It's not exactly a strategy because you have to look at their entire link profile and there's going to be a lot of different link types in there. There's going to be branded homepage mentions. There's going to be links to content. There's going to be links from forums. There's going to be guest post links, all sorts of links. So, But really, this is a really great way to figure out how you're going to build links for a specific website, um, depending on what your industry is going to be. Looking at your, your successful competitor's backlinks profile is just going to be a great, great way to figure out how to build good links for your website. Um, so this article from Ahrefs is actually amazing. It has seven like really actionable tips on uh, how to do it. I'm not going to dive into this article, but you can 100% use this and use all the actions um, from this article by Joshua Hardwick, who's really great and knows what he's talking about. Um, but I'm just going to talk quickly about some ideas you can use just quickly. Um, so this is our crypto website, uh, totalcrypto.io. Um, we've used the Ahrefs link intersect tool here. So this is actually on the Ahrefs dashboard. If you click on this more tab, <clears throat> you can see this link intersect tool. So this is really cool. It can show you, it will show you who's linking to some of your key competitors, but who isn't yet linking to you. So it'll show you sites that are consistently linking out to your competitors. Um, so if we show, show these link opportunities, it's going to show me every site that's linking to all three of these domains, but it's not linking to me yet. <clears throat> so if we look through, it's found 392 domains, which is a really high high uh, volume. Obviously, we want to like filter that by domain rating block out any of the the kind of like anything that's basically a uh, domain rating of less than um 10 um but we should still find a good volume yeah we can see here so there's probably going to be at least um 150 really good websites in here um that are going to be likely to link to us and then it's a case of figuring out okay like how can we contact these websites do we want to try and get guest posts on these sites um, do we want to just share their content with them? Do we want to just send them an outreach email showing them about talking, you know, about our project in general? Um, but that's just a nice tool to figure out um, which sites like to link to your competitors because um, there's a good chance you're going to be able to work with them in some way or another. Um, uh, an another strategy you can use is instead of looking at, who's linking to all the pages in your competitor's website, you can actually just look at who's looking at, who's linking to only the home page. So when you when you plug in your competitor's URL, um, change the setting from domain to URL, and that's going to show only links are going into the home page. The reason this is useful is because if people are linking to the home page, they're kind of mentioning the brand. Um, and it, it just becomes a lot easier to figure out, okay, who can we, like, who can we, reach out to who might link to our homepage. We've got a similar project or a similar um, website. Um, some of these are like infographic kind of links you can see here. Um, they've obviously done like active build, link building. Um, but, you know, there's going to be a lot in there um, that are like resource pages, for example, who are, who are going to be linking to Coin Central and saying that this is a good website to check out. Um, so that's why this is, is, is another nice strategy. Um, and then in general, of course, you can just look at competitors. So, for example, here's a nutrition website called Cellucor, um, who sell pre-workout. Um, and Optimum Nutrition is, is, a, is another similar nutrition website who sell relatively similar uh, products. Um, so, uh, again, this just gives you a really good idea of um, basically just ideas on, you know, what type of links you can build. So we can see here, I believe these are actually going to be sponsorship links. Um, looks like sponsorship links uh, to Optimum Nutrition. So, um, yeah, you can see here, well, they're actually an advertisement, but I believe it's a, a, a sponsorship of sorts. So um, you can see these are kind of supplement review sites. Um, again, it looks like a sponsorship here. Um, for some of these like marathons and runs and things like that. Um, so just by literally just trawling through your competitors' links, you're going to come up with link building ideas. 
um, you're going to come up with ready-made prospect lists. So this is why it's a really, really good idea to figure out who the competitors are and just start going through the backlink profiles, um, exporting anything you can, uh, and using that to as a kind of foundation for link building.